The more people connect to the internet, the more money Google makes. That's why Google is particularly focused on mobile. It's the way more and more people are coming online. I caught up with Google app guru Vic Gondotra to talk about Android, advertising, and why he says Google's approach is better than Apple's. Now, advertising is a really hot area right now, mobile advertising in particular. I know Eric Schmidt has said multiple times that Google now builds first for mobile because yeah. that's where the growth is coming from. Apple recently uh, bought a mobile advertising company and has shown off iAd. It's been going around trying to sell that at quite a premium, uh, by the way. How, how is Google's approach different from Apple's right. approach. Apple's got a lot of mind share with the iPhone. Now they're trying to bring that into mobile advertising. Yeah. What's, what's the difference in what you're doing? Once again, there's a pretty profound difference in philosophy. We certainly don't believe in charging a million dollars for a small number of advertisers to be in our system. We've been at advertising for over 10 years, and we've learned a lot during those 10 years. One of them, the importance to have great tools, to have a large number of advertisers, to have all sorts of different formats. Um, and we're going to continue the work that we do with the existing tools that we have and extend that. The tools that publishers and advertisers already know and love, we're going to extend that, those tools to work really great on these new platforms like mobile phones. We think that's the right strategy. We think that's what we're hearing from our own customers, and uh, we're going to continue to execute on that. Now on the keynote stage this morning, you had Kevin Lynch, CTO of Adobe, who's been taking a few knocks uh, these days from Apple, sort of the other guys who are growing uh, big in the mobile space. Um, it's particularly about Flash. Now we've been hearing that Flash compatibility is coming to Android. Uh, Steve Jobs in his letter a while back said, boy, we haven't seen Flash work well on a mobile device yet. Does Flash right now work well on Android and are we going to see it soon commercially available? Yeah, once again, I think you're highlighting the differences in our approach. Uh, Google really has a spirit of inclusiveness and today, many websites use Flash. I know my children will go and visit the Nickelodeon website or the Club Penguin website, and we think it's important to make sure that consumers get the experiences they know and love. And so we're working very closely with Adobe. We're actually quite pleased with the work that Adobe's done, and the early results coming in has been pretty fantastic. We think they've done some great optimization. We've helped them, we've had a great uh, collaborative effort, but once again, it goes back to a philosophy. We don't believe it's right to dictate to users what they can and can't do. If consumers like websites, many of which use Flash, we think it's our job to be pragmatic and open and deliver that. Let me ask it a little bit more directly. Have you seen a version of Flash for Android that is ready uh, to release? Um, I have seen very encouraging results. Um, Adobe has a very high bar of where they want to be at before they release that plugin, but I'm incredibly encouraged by the work that their team is doing, and I'm very confident uh, that consumers are going to love that experience, an experience uh, that we'll demo at this conference.